Okay, today's a very, very exciting day for me personally. Um, what's happening is we've got our surveyors here. Um, what they're doing is they're marking out all of the foundations. Today's gonna be the first time I actually get a sense for um, how everything is laid out. All our sort of internal foundational walls. We'll actually get a sense for what the bottom level looks like, where the garage will be, how long this whole section, the open plan section is gonna be, and all of that. So the surveyor's job is to get within about two millimeters of accuracy. So when we lay out the foundations, we know 100% that that's where they're meant to be according to the plan. I spent a bit of time with Monty. He's explained already how the satellite positioning works. It's kind of military grade, right? So you're getting very, very small tolerances. Monty, do you want to explain what you guys are exactly doing with this pegging story? Right, we we digitized the, the foundation plan and from the computer, we uploaded it into our system mm -hmm. and given each of them a coordinate. Okay, so, so like there, you're pegging in. Yes. And this is the outside now. We're doing the whole outside of your foundation. And once that's done, then we'll do the inside. It, it makes it a lot easier, especially when you're working on a slope. It's very easy to make a mistake once you measure it like that. So just to clarify, what we did today um, was different to what you would do in an initial surveyor. Today that's we right. marked out our foundations. Um, why is that important? So the house has got to stand in the correct position on your plot. It's got to be level. Um, so we've, we've done the level now and given you guys levels and the next thing is the house is square. Also made sure now is uh, it's done in least amount of, least amount of time mm -hmm. and uh, the foundations when they're dug now they are right so you won't pour too much concrete. Mm -hmm. The foundation will be according to the engineer mm -hmm. specifications. What we were saying earlier, you know, quality in, quality out when you build. You know, our builder could have done this over three, four days. He probably would have questioned himself now. There's absolutely no question where we're standing with the foundations. Okay, so we've come on site again um, this afternoon. And the great news is that you'll see that we've marked out all of the foundations in chalk. Wow, that guy's angle grounding so loud. So we've got the TLB ready for tomorrow, which is great. Um, they're gonna be, we'll probably be the whole day busy digging out foundations, which will be great. But yeah, very happy, very happy. Progress is going really quite quickly now. I mean, and then we've ordered the steel. We've paid for the steel today. Get to the floor, first floor slab. There's one very special person here. Yeah? that um, hasn't been on camera for a while. We just want to find out how, how are you feeling? Is it me? Is it me? It's you, it's you. I'm the special person. You are the special, <laughs> you're the most special person, yeah. No, Bes no. Besides these two, throwing rocks and being bored. I'm being bored. So, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. It's nice to see the foundations. It's nice to get a sense of scale and perspective. It's nice to see the swimming pool. Yep, let's just. And um, the rocks being resolved, the yep. rock issue. Yeah, that's great. So that's awesome. I have no idea how it's going to look tomorrow when they start digging the foundations, but it's great. It feels like the initial panic of the build is starting to wear off a bit. Mm. Kind of, we're just taking stuff in our stride. The kids keep talking about their rooms. I want their rooms. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. We're talking about colors of rooms already. I mean, look at this. There's a garage. I mean, that's a garage. Their rooms are going to be above the garage. So, I mean, it's very great that they're excited. Um, guys, you might have to wait a little longer for your rooms to get like painted. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. More updates. So uh, previously I showed how we marked out the foundations with chalk. Um, they've actually started to be cut out now, which is awesome. So <clears throat> that is done with the digger, the TLB. We've actually got a few guys in down there who are manually digging. And um, the reason for that also is that the foundations down there are actually very close together. So when you've got a machine running over the lines, you start l losing the lines. So it's actually easier to dig some of the tight little foundations, but um, one thing I'm super excited about, let me show you. So on the plans underneath the lounge and below sort of the outside decking, we had a very small space for an office. It was 2.3 meters by five, five and a half across, but there was always scope to increase it. And that's where we've got to. This is my man cave. Don't tell my wife. Uh oh, she's coming. She heard me. Okay. So I was just talking about our my sewing room. Oh, she a sewing room. A when, crochet room. When last did she sew? She went like, oh, I'm gonna crochet room. <laughs> now she's, I don't sew or crochet. Yeah, so then it's my man cave. No, we can have an office. Let's be fair. In the multi-purpose space. Multi-purpose space um, with the lead purpose being a man cave. <laughs> Listen, it's it's great. I mean, it's all coming ahead. I think I think we're feeling in better spirits. Um, it's it's a roller coaster. We up and down. Yeah, I think when you start spending money so quickly and it, um, everything's going out your account and you don't see progress, you're like, oh, geez, we spent so much money just to get to this stage. Yeah, so about two hundred thousand you've spent out without even touching digging the land. So 
um, when the big stuff starts with machinery and stuff and you start digging up it, it it's a bit scary but no, we, we, we're feeling a lot better. But it is all part of the budget. We're not, we're not spending oh, yeah, money yeah, yeah. that's not budgeted. No, 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 no. It's all budgeted It's for. all budgeted for, but it, it's just reality hits. Um, and the safety net of this part of money that you got to live on while you fix your business kind of is seeping away. That's where rubber meets the road. So it's, it's a great journey. We've got lots of bricks, which is good. Did our first order, feels good. Uh, we had a bit of a setback this last week. It rained heavily. The TLB came in on Monday and the wheels just spun. Wheels were just, yeah, not gripping. Today we've, um, Anton, our builders managed to sort that out. Let's chase the foundations. Yeah, the other rocks. Uh, where the swimming pool is going to be, it's interesting to see how big these rocks actually are. And yeah, the pool and foundation wall is going to be all the way here. Yeah. yeah, it's actually the pool. Yeah. Don't fancy diving head first just yet. Um, in fact, I don't even know if that's a good idea once it's built, but here's the man cave. Don't tell my wife, this is the man cave chase the foundations um, that's cool so yeah here's the man cave up there up there is our living room living area it's gonna come right over here this room so my man cave is gonna support the upper level this is our foundation wall for the garden I guess this all of this is our garden it's he has a garage. Today we've got our steel has arrived and these guys are busy binding up the steel, uh, which means they're actually creating sort of a structural steel element that goes into the foundations. So um, the foundations you see there, they lay the steel in and then they pour the concrete over it to kind of solidify the whole thing. So that's pretty cool. So a 66,000 rands of steel is lying around here. Um, that's not all of it. I would cry if that was all of it. Foundations are done. You'll see aerial shots, it's looking really good. Um, so it's nice to see things moving forward. Okay, uh, things are super stressful. Um, on the way here to site, we're waiting for the concrete truck to come to pour our foundations. Now, this is an exciting milestone, but I just had a fight with my wife on the way here. I think the stress levels are just quite high. Uh, <laughs> if I'm honest, a lot of it's around <laughs> these videos. <laughs> trying to sort this out. I mean, this is such a learning curve for us, but I mean, we're enjoying the process. But wow, man, geez, things are busy. Anyway, uh, we're waiting for the concrete truck to arrive. We are here now, it's exciting. So we've, we marked the foundations, we've dug the foundations, the steel is all in. Now we can pour the foundations and that needs to sit over the weekend. Okay, let's wait for the truck. Behind me, ha, they've done it. Um, yesterday when I left site, these guys were busy putting up these boards, um, this is boxing. You box in concrete. So they've done a great job. I know it looks like weird and people are gonna be like, oh, but it's all skew. It doesn't matter. The cement's gonna go over these rocks, bind to the steel, bind to the rock, and that solves this whole sort of pool issue. So you pull the steel there, there, and there. This is gonna be the foundational steel for the pool. So this is gonna carry a lot of weight. The strength of the house starts here. Not a good idea to rush this part of the process or to take any chances financially. Try not to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've seen certain contractors here on sites as I've been watching other houses. One of the first things people think they can save on is steel for the foundations and that's a bad idea. Uh, you want to build your house properly from the ground up and that's what we're trying to do. Okay, the cement trucks have arrived. He has a cement truck. That gets poured into there. Hi, how are So that cement going into the pump. That pump's got a huge arm to reach all the foundations. Unfortunately, it's just started raining. <laughs> Typical. It's raining. We're standing around. We've got the first pour about to happen. Freaking exciting. There we go, first pour. There it is. Woohoo! There we go. Guys, rain's in, we've got wet cement, we've got wet soil. Yeah, the arena is okay. Yes. The big area needs 
not uh, not yes. that bad. So yeah. we've, we've got two wet things happening. We've got rain and cement. Yeah, that's, that's what we need. That's what we need. And the other kid. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, so the family's here. Woo! Adventure, fights, winds, life. It's all weird. So the pouring's gone really well. We own uh, truck number five. I mean, it's a lot of trucks. So we've got the garage poured. We're making our way slowly, slowly, but it's getting there. Okay, so we couldn't be happier. Despite the rain, despite the arguments, we are so excited that we're at this point of getting our foundation set. The cost of these foundations, however, did scare us a little. We must be honest. This was our biggest expense to date, but we can only go up from here. So if you want to catch a bit of our journey and how we even found our piece of land to build on, watch this video that's on the screen now. Subscribe, comment, like, all those things are appreciated. You are awesome and thanks for watching.